What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Behind me we have Jonathug. He's also holding up a Jeep Comanche with a 5.3 liter turbo. Look what's behind it though. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. But. We haven't seen too many of these like with the intercooler that tucked. I've seen a lot with the grill missing. We've seen them with the intercooler below the front bumper, but I haven't really seen them like this. I will give it to them though. We aren't, we don't have AC on here. I bet if you have an yeah, AC, it'd be a complete different story. But we've got our grill in place and we just finished, I'll show you guys the footage in a second, but we ended up cutting out the back of the grill so that it could fit. So we had to kind of take out the corners on both sides so our intercooler piping could come through. But other than that, metal too yeah and the metal on the radiator core but other than that there was just like that tab and that tab that we had to shorten because they were sticking out and touching our intercooler but she's all on there so what we're about to do now is we're just chipping away at this we've got our blow off valve so john's got that in his hands and the place me and him found that like the only place really is right there <laughs> so we don't really have a ton of room so and i think it'll be a cool piece to kind of show off right yeah i think this is like sick even though it's got that, you know, legit name brand, like stamped on top. <laughs> we'll put a boosted mark for So, in the name of like budget friendly, you guys, John picked this up off a of marketplace for 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Yeah. So, it looks very similar to a name brand one. I'm sure you guys could probably drop in the comments below. But we needed one. We didn't have one. 20 bucks. Can't really go wrong. So, what I'm going to do now is we're going to take this off. We marked it for where we want this. So, I'm going to weld that onto the pipe if you guys can believe that i am tig welding aluminum <laughs> so i'm learning you guys but i have tig welded aluminum it's uh i wouldn't say it's super pretty but i can get the job done so we're gonna get that on there and then we'll have a blow off valve and uh, we'll just keep chipping away at this thing let me show you guys the footage of us cutting the grill and then i'll show you guys us getting to work on this blow up valve flange So there it is. Like I said, this is my pretty much first time ever TIG welding aluminum. So not completely pretty, but it's definitely sealed up. Got a few decent beads going on there. But again, this is with like a $200 welder. I'm sure we could do a lot better boys if we had a, an actual name brand welder, but she's sealed up. She's good. I'm going to paint it with black so that it uh, matches and then uh, we come out this. Okay, check this out, you guys. I'm just getting these tires off. We're going to go over to Walmart and get some new tires. But this is what I was talking to you guys about. Like, look at how bad this is and where the, all those cracks are the tread is like higher and that's why when we're going down the road like this thing is just basketballing going down the road same thing with this one look all cracked right there like you can see hopefully the tread see look goes up high here then down low like these belts just these tires are literally ready to explode so sketchy all four of them are like that so we're gonna go get some new ones on here hey check it out boys we are at walmart it's got four brand new tires mounted on the trailer wheels now we can go put these back on our trailer i'll show you guys the tread pretty legit hey what we got john we got some high run tires <laughs> that's what we got nothing but the best bro now we could use it look at these yeah that's way better so I don't know if I told you guys this yet, but John noticed it. Or actually, the tire guy noticed. He's no, like, I did. the he high run. The credit. I checked. The high run? Yeah, the old ones. You know, oh, no. Oh no, I noticed the year. Yeah, you noticed the year, but yeah. the tire guy's like, because we were like, well, are these tires gonna be any good? He's like, you already have them. <laughs> so we had one of them, but I think that one, the date was what, 2010? 2010. Yeah. So if they lasted 13 years, I think brand new ones. Uh, yeah, because I kind of wanted to get Carlisle ones, but they were, what, double the price? More probably. Something crazy. All right, guys. Well, it is the next day. We painted that pipe for the intercooler with the blow-off valve on it. As if we didn't have enough going on with trying to meet deadlines and trying to get ready for LS Fest and Mo Party, and we have less than one week to get that done, there is a massive hurricane apparently hitting our way today. So... <laughs> not only do I try to have to get this thing done, but also try to 
just get things organized and a little bit prepped for whatever comes our way. So right now, like if you guys already know, we're in Florida, we're just outside a little bit east of Tampa. So we're pretty close to Tampa Bay area. So it's supposed to get hit right now. They're kind of projecting it to be a little bit more north of Tampa, like kind of towards the panhandle of Florida. But if you guys know anything about the hurricanes that have always hit the Gulf Coast, they always tend to land right and go further east than what they project. If you guys look at the last one, the Ian one, I think it was, it was supposed to hit Tampa and then it ended up hitting Cape Coral. So it went to the right and ended up hitting further southeast. So if anything is like every other hurricane, it's probably gonna be pretty dang close to hitting Tampa. So hopefully everything goes well. But anyways, I'm still working on it today, even though I'm trying to get other stuff arranged. Went and got the tires you guys saw there. So new tires, uh, we got the trailer registered. So all that stuff's good. Not sure if we're gonna go pick up the SST today. That's the other big question mark. But let me show you guys what we're working on. So painted this last night in the dark and came out pretty dang good, you guys. So like I said, I uh, am still learning TIG welding, but the fact that I can get something sealed up in aluminum is uh, definitely a big win. So that's ready to go on. And let me see what else we're gonna work on. The uh, transmission cooler lines are right there. And the more stuff we jam into this corner, the more crowded it gets. So I feel like I should probably just get those situated, get my AN lines ready to go. They are, I think a dash six is what we went with, but I think I should probably get those in there. That way I don't have to take out this radiator because I really want to put fluids in it, but I should probably do that because this whole situation might have to come out if I don't do it now. So let's just do it. So check this out, you guys. So I made up our two lines. It's gonna be the lower one because uh, I'll show you guys in a second why it needs to go on that aggressive bend. There's the upper. So we've got our two compression to AN fittings. Look at this. No joke, boys. That is a monster. You can see where we are, a little dot on the map. Gonna be hectic, boys. But anyways, it is right now. You can see here, what time is it? 12.30 on a Tuesday. We're gonna start to see this thing tonight, so. No. <laughs> Anyways, let's get these on. John finally uh, came out, so we're gonna both just see how much we can get done on this before the rain starts hitting and uh, we have to kind of hunker down. So let's get these in here. This one's gonna go on the top. So that'll screw in right there. I had to kind of shave a little bit of area out of there because they don't really give you much to work with. But yeah, we'll get this in here. I already cleaned out our lines. And then I think we're gonna, what do you think? Just make up the transmission lines, send it. Might as well. We were kind of holding off because we don't know what the health condition is on this transmission, but even if it's a bad transmission, we're not even gonna have time to fix it anyways. So, because yeah. we're gonna send it. <laughs> typically, you don't want to, like, I don't know, a lot of people say if you burn up a transmission to change your transmission cooler, and in our case, the transmission cooler is a radiator, so that's why we're kind of holding off. Same thing we did with the uh, SST just to make sure everything was good. But, anyways, we'll get these in here, we'll make up the lines, and then we can probably put this in here and put fluids in it and officially kind of do things a little more. Okay, so we've got our Mr. Gasket 90s here. So we're gonna go ahead, make up our lines, again, with our Mr. Gasket hose, make them the length, and then we can establish that and put everything together. And just like that, we've got all of our lines made up, our AN lines, so we measure them to length, put our Mr. Gasket fittings on our Mr. Gasket hose. So now we can install these, run them to the transmission, put it all in there, and then hopefully, what do you think? No reason to take it out, I hope. Nah, no reason. Hopefully we don't have to take out the anything in the front ends until uh, till never. <laughs> Check it out, boys. I don't know if you guys have seen this down here. That's where our wastegate is. Just need to do a little dump tube there. Also, you'll notice our fireproof wrap around there, around our uh, oil feed and return when it goes past the exhaust. And then John just finished getting these through here. So there's our two transmission cooler lines. He's got it held in here nicely. We put some... Uh, more heat shielding on our two transmission lines. They're gonna come around through here and then go around there. Everything's secured nicely. We kinda of had to figure out a way to go around our crossover tube, which we did. And then they come around here and then we've got the two 90 AN fittings going into our transmission. So that's all done. Let's move on to the next thing. So me and John are hurricane prepping right now. Now, there's literally nothing going on, thankfully. There's nothing. We had, uh, reinforced our garage we had shuffled everything at one point i didn't even grab the camera because we were just running around but we had the viper in here we had the srt 10 ram in here this thing was in the air and then we put it all back in the other garage because the other garage the it didn't have all the reinforcements if you guys see on the back of this door there's literally like a reinforcement two reinforcement bars per panel 
The other one had three for the whole door. And last hurricane with those high winds, it was literally just blowing the whole door in. So I got uh, our other garage door, the front garage, completely reinforced. What we're doing right now is me and John finished the transmission cooler lines. So those are all plumbed and connected. And we're gonna do two things. We're gonna take off the intake manifold. We got a brand new intake manifold gasket set. We're gonna put that on. We kind of could hear like a little vacuum leak it sounded like. And these were the original fuel injectors. Like I said, we do have Holly uh, fuel injectors, larger ones for the boost. We're probably gonna install those because these ones, they don't like the O-rings on them, even though they're on here, they do not seal. So we probably had a huge vacuum leak through here. Like, look at that. That should not be able to slide in and out of there that easy. It should be hard to pull them off, right? Well, the O-ring should be like making like, a nice seal, but like, look at that. That is no buenos. So probably that's where our vacuum leak was coming from. And that's why we had a really high idle. So, but regardless, we don't know the history on these intake manifold gaskets. They're pretty crusty. So we're gonna lift it out, put new uh, gaskets on it, and then uh, we'll put it back down probably change over to our other fuel injectors at the same time. Okay, so I'm new to all this Chevy World stuff, but check out the new Felpro gaskets. You can see the lip on them. Look at the ones that were in there. Completely pancaked. Exact same gasket, but completely different looking. So yeah, that one probably wasn't doing the best job of sealing. Look at that, completely pancaked. So either way, this is definitely gonna help. We did have to trim off a couple tabs. So there's like these tabs there and on the ends. So I had to just buzz those off in order for them to fit this manifold, but they look like they'll work. So let's get that other smushed gasket out of there. Okay, so we've got the intake manifold down and tight. We've got our new fuel injectors in here. We haven't thrown the rails back down because we're actually going to finally get rid of this no-name throttle body. What we put on, John? G plus. G right. plus. Oh. Some respect on this name. <laughs> what you we know? Got a better one over here, though. There you go. Jeez. Check look this thing out. It's pretty cool. Look at this like crazy step in the actual bore of it. Dang. So we're gonna go with the Holly EFI unit on there. This is, as you can see here, a 95. 95. It's got a gasket. We're also gonna put on a brand new throttle position sensor as well. So that'll go on the side. And I think we have a few other parts too, but we're gonna put all this on and then we'll get that on there. And uh, yeah, she'll be breathing better than ever. Okay, so check it out you guys. We've got the Holly EFI 95 millimeter throttle body. We've got our brand new idle air control valve from MSE and that also came with the TPS. So if you guys need any of this stuff, check the link down below boys. Everything that I've been using on this build, you can check it out and you can find it by clicking that link down below. Same thing with our MSD coil packs, our tall valve covers, our hooker Blackheart exhaust manifolds for the turbo. The fuel rails. Fuel rails are even Holly EFI. So literally everything you can get from the one-stop shopping on their website. The, the bracket. accessory bracket, the power steering pump, you name it. Pretty much everything we were able to get from one place. So if you guys can't hear, Apparently we're in the middle of a hurricane. Apparently, I don't know. It's, uh, John's probably got his phone. It's 11 o'clock at night right now because we were running around like monkeys all day. Look at that. 11 o'clock at night. Luckily, uh, my heart goes out to all the people that might get hit by this thing. Like I said, we're filming this right now on a, what is it? Tuesday night, right? Yeah. Tuesday night, this thing is supposed to hit a, as a fork. Four in the morning? No, category four. Oh yeah, category it, four now. It, it just changed. It yeah. just changed the category four. Like this thing is looking like it's gonna be similar to Ian, unfortunately. So fortunately our area, for us at least, seems to be okay because we got a lot of work to do and right now we're just getting rain. But I don't want to jinx it, but there is like a lot of like we're getting a lot of tornado threats and warnings right now, but I mean, other than just this rain just started, what, like an hour ago? Yeah, not too long ago. So, and uh, yeah, we're hoping everything goes well, but it's 11 o'clock at night. Like I said, we were running around like monkeys doing a little bit of prep, getting gas for the generator in case that goes out and, you know, in the garage. <laughs> propane just in case we need to grill or eat for the next few days. We have no idea what's going to go on. They were kind of calling for the worst, but see how she goes. But lots of good progress on this. We've got our new fuel injectors in there. We do have a map sensor. Uh, I believe it's a three bar from Holly. So we got to mount that and get that situated. But we also, with us changing our fuel lines, so this is all Mr. Gasket stuff. We got the 45, we got the 8AN hose crossover, 
came out really good and this is gonna give us more clearance because before we had that huge one and it was hitting up here making contact with the hood so we're just chipping away a lot of small little things boys but should be pretty good also i can make a exhaust we're gonna make a super temporary exhaust probably like some sort of just redneck hood stack so <laughs> i gotta do that so at least we can get it running and leave it running for more than you know 30 seconds to a minute because it'll just absolutely cook everything but we're close we're real close yeah, so yeah. we're gonna keep telling you though as long as we don't get Ooh, swept wait, away wait, wait. We got the shirts in today. We got the shirts. Oh, let's go. Oh, if we can't even show you though. We're not gonna show you. Honestly, if things weren't so hectic today with us running around like monkeys, we yeah. probably would actually throw a shirt on and show you guys the shirts just to uh, give you guys a little preview of what you guys can expect if you guys are at LS Fest or Mo Party this year. We're gonna be selling these shirts. We got four designs, you guys. So we're gonna start by selling them at LS Fest and Mo Party. And then we're also gonna be putting them on our website. So you guys will be able to pick them up online pretty soon. But right now we're just so caught up with the <laughs> Jeep build that we haven't been able to design the website. John's gonna be uh, taking charge of the website. So he'll be putting it up. Right now, if you go to shopboosted.com, you can see that it, we have just a placeholder, but that's nothing like the yeah, website we're gonna have. Yeah, yeah. That's literally just so you guys know it's the website, but once we redesign it. And, and it'll be shopboosted.com. Yeah. Yeah, just so you guys know. So right now we just have that temporary website, but the revamped one, when we get back from these events, it's gonna look completely different. You'll be able to drop items in your cart, order stuff, even all the small things that we sell right now, you know, throttle bodies, HID kits, all that, it'll be on the website, so it'll be much easier to get. So anyways, wish us good luck with this storm. We're gonna go in and eat dinner at 11 o'clock at night <laughs> and uh, give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying this series yeah. and we'll see you guys on the next video.